case mostly what clothing that I'm bringing but then a few, also a few other miscellaneous things that I am bringing along on this trip yeah let's get started so like I said I've never been to Costa Rica before and it, it seems like it's a very big array which was a little bit daunting when packing for this trip because we are doing like in the mountains and the forest and but then also a a um, beach trip so like I need some kind of like adventure clothes and then beachy clothes also I think it's a little bit colder when you're in the forest in the mountains and it's also supposed to be raining a lot when we're there in the in the forest and in the mountains and then really sunny and nice and warm when we're by the beach so I've had to balance between those two factors but then on top of that I've heard that Costa Rica is a very casual place and that people don't really dress up but we are staying at luxury resorts so it's kind of confusing I'm really interested to see what Costa Rica is really like and uh, when I get back I will have more information and more clear vision on what you should actually be bringing to Costa Rica so stay tuned for that video but I am going to show you what I think a first timer who's never been to Costa Rica uh, and who's me would pack. So first things first, I do use packing cubes. These ones I got on Amazon. I really, really like them. They're not compression packing cubes or anything. They're just uh, regular old packing cubes, but they have this really cute design on them that I really like and they've not let me down. I'll try to leave them down below in case you want to pick these up as well. And also I am a roller of the clothing. I think that it actually helps so much with wrinkling. I'm not so sure if it's safe space or not, but I do find that it does really help with wrinkling. So that is why I always like to roll my clothes, but yeah, let's get into it. So this bag here is everything that I am going to need for uh, the beach. We are spending about six days on the coast of Costa Rica. So I do have an entire packing cube full of bathing suits. Right now, uh, the two things in swimwear that I'm kind of obsessed with are one piece uh, bathing suits and if I am wearing bikini, high rise bikini bottoms. So I actually bought two new pairs of uh, swimming bottoms for this trip. These are both from Ari, I believe, $20 on sale. High rise, just plain black bikini bottoms that will fully cover my butt. So I'm for that. That is what I am about. Then I just have a mix of older bathing suits that I uh, have had for a while. This one's a fancier one. This one is from H&M. I got it about, I think two years ago now. This one's really nice for just laying by the pool when you wanna look pretty. So that's what that one's for. Then I just have these uh, black bikini top. Um, this is will be better for if when we're doing activities. I can match it up with either pair of my black high rise bathing suit bottoms. So that's really good. Then I have just these fun pair of bikini bottoms, but it is on them. Um, I believe. I got this one actually from Siren, and I have the matching top. I do very rarely re wear these together. I usually like to mix. It up right here is the yellow bikini top this one's really great for her when you're doing activities and you need it to be wearing a bathing suit it's like more of a sports bra so it really keeps you in there so I'm bringing that one along this bikini top I have the matching bikini bottoms I really really like these ones too I love the, fr the frill on them they go obviously they're matching they go really well with the top and they're just really pretty and they're also high-waisted so that's what I really love about these ones then I just have a bunch of one piece this ones are really fun pretty Really, uh, one piece of bathing suit. This one was also from Sirens. This about probably two, maybe three years ago. This one I really like because you can actually just uh, put a pair of shorts on and you can just double it as a shirt. And then I have some more one piece that are just for laying by the pool because if you move too much, your boot pops out. So I only wear these bathing suits by the pool when we're just laying there doing very minimal movement. So we have this one here, as you can see, there's not very much to it. It's extremely pretty on, but again, if you're doing any activities, it's not advisable to wear that because you will fall out. So I actually got this one at Azafil. I bought a few bathing suits from there and I would not recommend them. This is the only one that came that was actually nice. The rest of them felt like weird and cheap and not good. So I would not recommend Azafil, but this bathing suit that I actually absolutely love, it's so pretty on, uh, did come from there. But yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend the company buy your bathing suits from somewhere else because it's not great, it's not great. Then we have another 
really nice bathing suit but again only for laying by the pool because if you move you will pop out this one is from chicwish which i is the online store that i actually absolutely love it can be a little hit or miss but for the most part their clothing is pretty quality it does take forever though for it to get to you i did just make an order from uh chicwish on the 15th of march and it actually took like three or four weeks for them to even process the order and then put it out for delivery about a week ago and it is still in China so it does take extremely extremely long for it to get to you and this I have ordered from them that, uh, a few times and this has always been my experience is that it takes just a really long time so give yourself plenty of time before ordering from them and then the last bathing suit here is a new one I just got this one from Dynamite it's just this yellow bikini that's kind of yeah again just for laying by the pool not a lot of material to it so um then also in this bag here we just have two sarongs i got this one from dollarama i absolutely love yellow and uh this was like two dollars from dollarama this one is from sirens it's just again just basically a piece of fabric that you can use as a sarong and then i brought two cover-ups i have had these for years and years and years and i bring them on every single beach trip that i go on I think they're just really pretty. This one is my favorite. This one is also, again, love yellow. And I think this one is just a beautiful floral pattern to, uh, yeah, bring along. So this packing cube here is just full of my socks and underwear. I'm not going to take out every individual piece of socks and underwear and show you. I brought, uh, I think... I think we're going to be there for 12 days, so I think I have 12 pairs of underwear in here, I think like 6 pairs of socks, and uh, just one pair of pajamas. And yeah, that's basically all that's in this packing cube here. Alright, now we're going to get into more of the clothing clothing that I'm bringing along to Costa Rica. So this a packing cube is my shirts that I'm bringing along and also the fancier things that I'm bringing along. Okay, so this is another cover-up that I'm bringing along. It's uh, really great for the beach. Just throw on over top of your bathing suit. It's just like this white kind of over over shirt dress shirt kind of thing really long and flowy i use this by the pool but then i also can use this as a just casual kind of shirt so this white shirt and also this shirt here is from dynamite i got it on sale a few years ago and it's really just kind of it's just like the see-through shirt that's kind of nice you could just pair it with a pair of shorts or a skirt and it uh, can just make the outfit a little bit more uh, fancy with but also can be slightly cat more casual so it's somewhere in the middle then we just have this casual gray uh, t-shirt this is a shirt that i usually bring on every single vacation or trip that we go on because it's just so easy to wear i believe i got this one from sirens the rest i have three tank tops here i'm just bringing a three cotton top tank tops i'm bringing a black one a white one and a yellow one um pretty standard tank tops then i'm bringing uh just two black t-shirts then i have um this is a bodysuit from dynamite i can pair this with shorts or my skirt to make a kind of fancy kind of casual outfit so that's why i'm bringing this along i never had this nice floral kind of tank top here i'm going to go with shorts it could be a great day outfit and also a night outfit for dinner then we have this tank top bodysuit from dynamite i just got this thinking maybe on the way back or even when i'm down there wearing this with a nice pair of shorts really great casual outfit it still looks good i'm bringing this crop top along it actually would go quite nice with the skirt because the skirt comes up a little higher so uh yeah i have this like little crop top like wear this down to the beach or mix it up with the skirts this top here is from chicwish i really really love it it's so pretty it's a little bit of a crop top so again it would probably go with the skirt because the skirt's a little bit higher and so that's another option to wear with the skirt but i can also wear with like a pair of shorts or whatever and then i have this tank top here that it's it's a not kind of a nicer material so it uh, looks a little bit more fancy it has like a little bit of this frill here so i can pair that with the shorts or the skirts and i uh, have a fancier outfit there as well so also 
here we have these pair of shorts this is from vince i actually found this at like a winners or a marshall's and i looked it up online and their shorts are like 300 dollars and I was like shocked. These were $50 in winners and um, I don't usually spend that kind of money on clothing, especially not shorts, but I do absolutely, absolutely love these shorts. I wear them all the time. I'm bringing this skirt. I have a bunch of these kinds of skirts from Chicwish. Chicwish is where I get pretty much all of my skirts and I just absolutely love, 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 love the skirts there. This one is absolutely gorgeous. Another fancier thing that I am bringing is this red satin jumpsuit that I really, really love. It's from Dynamite. I just got it. I have not worn it yet. It was on sale. It's just like really pretty, just, you know, wide-legged wide, wide -legged jumpsuit. And then I also brought just this other really cute dress for a nice dinner out. This one I also just got from Dynamite on sale. A little bit on the fancier side, but I also think I could wear this during the day, just, you know, down to a pool or whatever. And yeah, that's really only, only fancy family not taking that many fancy things i actually thought that i was so yeah i'm taking one fancy dress one fancy jumpsuit one fancy skirt and one fancy pair of shorts and that's all i'm doing so wish me luck then our final package here i believe we have all of my bottoms these are the my casual bottoms. I can just mix and match my casual t-shirts and tank tops along with all these bottoms depending on the weather because it could be cold and it could be really hot. So that is why we have a large array and need one whole packing cube for just my casual bottoms. I'm bringing along two pair of like cloth pants. Uh, I have a green pair here and then just a black pair here. This these will be good for if it's like really cold in a destination and we're just being casual. Then I'm bringing two pairs of just black leggings. Leggings I really like to wear on the plane. So I'm actually bringing three pairs because I'll be wearing one down there. Then I bring one for the way back home and then also I brought another pair for just in case it's cold and we're doing a hike or something and I want to wear leggings instead of shorts. Then we have two pairs of jean shorts. I'm doing one blue jean pair and then one just pink pair. Uh, these are both from our den, super cheap, super stretchy too. Really actually enjoy these jeans. They were cheap and they fit really well. So anyways, I have these two brand new pairs of shorts from Dynamite that I absolutely love. They're very nice. They're very flowy. So they can be casual, but I can also make them a little bit more fancy. I actually saw these before we went to Mexico and I was like, mm, wasn't sure if I wanted to get them. And then I saw a girl wearing them in Mexico and she looked amazing in these and i was like sold i have to buy them i usually only buy things when they're on sale and these are brand new in the dynamite line so they were not on sale but when i saw that girl wear them i knew i just had to have them so i went as soon as i got back from mexico i went on the dynamite website and bought these immediately and they look amazing on they're just they're flowy in just the right ways so really love both of these pairs of shorts so if it's a little bit warmer and i don't want to wear my leggings i'm bringing two pairs of bicycle shorts along these are for any adventures that we do when it's really warm and then i'm just bringing uh three really nice cotton dresses along i went to mexico last i didn't actually bring anything like this and i super regretted it because just having a nice soft cotton dress to throw on when you're going down to the pool really quickly like you don't want to get a full outfit on when you're just going to be going out to the pool and taking it off in five minutes anyways so i am bringing three of these along um i'm bringing two black ones and one blue one i do believe that all of these have come from a marshall's or a winners i find that the past few years they've had a lot of these just kind of like t-shirt dresses just really soft t-shirt cotton dresses and uh yeah all of the ones that i'm bringing along i've gotten from either a marshall's or a winners and then this last cotton dress here i got from a marshall's a few years ago it's just a nice black t-shirt dress it kind of flares at the bottom and it has pockets which i mean every girl loves a dress with pockets what shoes I am bringing. I am bringing quite a lot of shoes along because we are doing a array of things. So first we have uh, our dinner shoes. Yeah, so I'm not really sure how fancy things are, but it's always good to have just, these aren't too, too fancy, but um, yeah, 
just uh, these will be the shoes that I wear when we go to dinner. So I'm bringing my chacos because we are doing a few activities where our feet will get wet, but they also still need to be wearing shoes to protect them. So I'm bringing along my chacos for those activities where we are getting wet, but we still need to have our feet protected. So uh, that's what these are for. Then I have these a pair of Teva sandals that I absolutely love. I got them about two or three years ago. And then when I bought them, they stopped making them. So I wanted to replace these for the past two years um, just because I love them. They're, they're still good now. Like I, I can still wear them for sure, but like I got worried that once these uh, wear out, I won't be able to wear them again. But Teva doesn't make them anymore. And I, I'm so upset because they're so comfortable, but they're actually still relatively fashionable and cute. So that's why I really, really enjoyed these sandals. So I am in the market for new, comfortable walking sandals that are also still cute. And then I'm just also bringing along my Michael Coors gel sandals for when we go down to the pool and just, you know, want to throw something really easy on your feet. So I uh, got my flip flops here. And then on the plane, uh, I will be wearing my Vessies. Vessies are waterproof and great and comfortable, so I am bringing those along. All right, and then also on this trip, I am bringing one thin black uh, sweatshirt. I'm also bringing this, it's supposed to be a waterproof jacket from Ted Baker. It's not waterproof at all, but it's uh, super cute. It's lightweight. I think it's gonna be really good addition to bring. I don't actually have a rain jacket, so uh, this one's gonna have to do. I don't actually mind getting a little wet. I'm glad that I looked at the forecast beforehand because I'm mentally preparing myself for a very wet uh, vacation, but uh, you know what? I'm prepared and I'm okay with getting a little wet, so I am just gonna bring this jacket that's actually not waterproof at all, really. This one's what I'm also gonna be wearing on the plane, just because it is a little bit colder here in Canada and I like to wear a jacket on the way to the airport keep warm and then also to keep warm on maybe some chillier nights or um, mornings even is this yellow jacket um, that I got from I think Forever 21. I absolutely am obsessed with the color. I love yellow and this one is just a light and flowy and I really really do enjoy bringing it along on when it's just a little bit cooler. On vacation and then this jacket here I got from uh, forever 21 and I am absolutely obsessed with it again I love yellow but this is very very flashy and I only ever wear it on vacation so I was thinking about not bringing it but if there is a chance that I can wear this I want to wear it because I absolutely just am obsessed with the color and it's like a satin material and I only ever wear it on vacation I only have the ovaries to wear it on vacation so I'm bringing it along in hopes that I can get a wear out of it. Then I'm bringing my obligatory sun hat again. I get headaches when it's hot, um, so this helps protect my head. When we were in Mexico in November, I did not have a hat, and when I was laying out in the sun, I got horrendous, horrendous headaches, and so I went and I bought a sun hat, and uh, wore it the rest of the time we were there, and I didn't get another headache again. So, the uh, sun hat is extremely important for me at this age, and also it just helps protect my face. I'm also bringing The Disaster Artist. This book was written by uh, Greg Stereos, who it plays Mark in uh, the room if you've never seen the room you need to do yourself a favor and watch the room the room is the absolutely the best worst movie ever made it is amazing work of art that was made by accident really it's it, it's a terrible terrible awful movie but it is so terrible in the best way possible so if you've never seen the room do yourself a favor and watch the room i do actually really recommend this book it's really excellent it's funny it gives you a really good insight on what was going on uh, at the time of the movie was being made. I know that the disaster artist, the, the movie made by James Franco, does go into it because it is based on this book, but uh, it goes in even deeper and it just answers a lot of questions that I had about the room. Another thing I bring, this is my beach bag. Um, it's yellow, again, I absolutely love yellow. I'm also bringing this little uh, Kate Spade clutch here that uh, is good if it's a little bit fancier there. Just real easy things to just bring to dinner. And then I'm also bringing this Earth Pack dry bag. It is the 30 liter one. I definitely uh, 
needed this because I have a lot of uh, camera equipment that I carry around a lot and when we do excursions that involve water, it's nice to know that everything is safely packed away. So I'm bringing this a 30 liter backpack where I can throw in everything, all my camera gear and everything and you're going to know that it's safe and secure and you don't have to worry about it getting wet if uh, something happens during your excursion. So I will also be bringing along this uh, mosquito repellent since we are spending a lot of time in the forest. A lot of tour companies suggest having this, so I am bringing this along. And that is pretty much everything that I am bringing on this trip to Costa Rica. There might be a few other things that I'm just forgetting to include in this little thing here, but we will be doing another video about packing for Costa Rica when I get back and I know more about what you need for Costa Rica. So stay tuned for that video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you could like, uh, subscribe, or leave a comment down below, it really, really helps me out. It helps me make me feel like I'm not just putting these videos out to no one and just screaming into a void. So it would really help me out if you could, you know, tell me what you like about the videos, tell me what you don't like about the videos. But uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see next time I see you, we'll be in Costa Rica. Bye.